The goal of the attack is to gain information which reduces the security of the encryption scheme. Introduction In a chosen plain text attack the adversary can adaptively ask for the ciphertexts of arbitrary messages. This is formalized by allowing the adversary to interact with an encryption oracle, viewed as a black box. This appears, at first glance, to be an unrealistic model, as it is unlikely that an attacker could persuade a human cryptographer to encrypt large amounts of plain texts of the attacker's choosing. However, modern cryptography is implemented in software or hardware and is used for a diverse range of applications. For many cases, a chosen plain text attack is often very feasible. Chosen plain text attacks become extremely important in the context of public key cryptography, where the encryption key is public and so attackers can encrypt any plain text they choose. In the worst case, a chosen plain text attack could reveal the scheme secret key. For some chosen plain text attacks, only a small part of the plain text needs to be chosen by the attacker. Such attacks are known as plain text injection attacks. Forms of chosen plain text attacks. There are two forms of chosen plain text attacks. Batch chosen plain text attack, where the cryptanalyst chooses all of the plain texts before seeing any of the corresponding ciphertexts. This is often the meaning of an unqualified use of chosen plain text attack. Adaptive chosen plain text attack where the cryptanalyst can request the ciphertexts of additional plaintexts after seeing the ciphertexts for some plaintexts. Chosen plaintext attacks in practice In World War II U.S. Navy cryptoanalysts discovered that Japan was planning to attack a location referred to as AF. They believed that AF might be Midway Island, because other locations in the Hawaiian Islands had code words that began with a to prove their hypothesis that AF corresponded to Midway Island, they asked the U.S. forces at Midway to send a plain text message about low supplies. The Japanese intercepted the message and immediately reported to their superiors that AF was low on water, confirming the Navy's hypothesis and allowing them to position the force to win the battle. Also during World War II, Allied codebreakers at Bletchley Park would sometimes ask the Royal Air Force to lay mines at a position that didn't have any abbreviations or alternatives in the German naval system's grid reference. The hope was that the Germans, seeing the mines, would use an Enigma machine to encrypt a warning message about the mines and an all-clear message after they were removed giving the Allies enough information about the message to break the German naval enigma. This process of planting a known plain text was called gardening. Allied codebreakers also helped craft messages sent by double agent Joan Puyol Garcia, whose encrypted radio reports were received in Madrid, manually decrypted, and then re-encrypted with an enigma machine for transmission to Berlin. This helps the codebreakers decrypt the code used on the second leg, having supplied the original text. Relation to other attacks A chosen plain text attack is more powerful than known plain text attack, because the attacker can obtain many pairs of plain texts and ciphertexts, instead of only one pair, and therefore has more data for cryptanalysis. Therefore, any cipher that prevents chosen plain text attacks is also secure against known plain text and cipher text only attacks. However, a chosen plain text attack is less powerful than a chosen cipher text attack, where the attacker can obtain the plain texts of arbitrary cipher texts. A CCA attacker can sometimes break a CPA secure system.